What's up guys? Welcome to Nutero. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do a general reading for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get it. Pisces. What's up Pisces? Thank you so much for being here. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I hope you guys are doing well today. I wasn't supposed to put these back and I put them back. Some of you guys might feel like you're everywhere. Your emotions might be everywhere. You might not even know what's left from right. Like you might, you just, you might not even know what the freak to do right now. You're just like, where? That was your, that was your message on Snapchat last night too. I think like you don't know which one to choose. You don't know which one to choose. It might be that some of y'all don't know, don't have, don't know which one to choose, but I did not mean to say that. I was going to say you don't know which way to go. You don't know which way to choose. Okay. Anyway, um, let's see what's going on. I'm going to pull two oracles and then we're going to clarify. I would choose the new. Okay. Because the past is never good, bro. Especially if you learned a harsh lesson. You, what are you going to do? Relearn the lesson? <laughs> no, there's nothing. Once you pass the level, which, the only thing you're going to go back to is the same shit. Probably worse. Actually, it is worse. It's always worse when you go back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've all been there, right? All right, bottom of the deck is summon. You're being called to do something, Pisces. Ay, ay, ay. What is it? Chaos. You're being called to stir shit up. <laughs> Hold on, this is spicy. And the moon here? This could be, um, I've never put it like that, but this like this for anyone before. This could be um a Cancer or another Pisces. Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy here with the chaos. Um, you're being called <laughs> to stir shit up, okay, between you and someone here that are very lustful for each other okay um now your intuition is telling you that this person is dealing with some type of deceit i feel like with this invisible it could be that you're the one that like your intuition is telling you that somebody's being deceitful that somebody's being whatever or it's that you and this person you know that this, there's someone in this person's energy who is making them feel small. Or you're the one that feels small. It's either you feel like this or the person that you're with, someone in their life is making them feel like this. Okay? And in two, you're feeling like that. That's exactly how it could be too. But I don't want to talk about a trap. Yeah, it's like somebody doesn't know where to go, how to go here. And I feel like you know exactly because you know what the freak is going on. You know what's going on here. You know, it's like someone feels powerless and you know that they're not. So it's like you're being called upon to say what you got to say mm -hmm. because it's, gonna, it's about to help somebody, either you or someone else, even though it might, it might, it might cause a, a crazy ass situation, but you're being guided to do this because it's part of the plan. You know what I'm saying? And it could be that you don't even know, like, should I? Should I? Yes. And some of you guys, you don't see this coming. So you might like if you feel the urge and you're just like, no, let's not stir things up. Stir it. Well, well done, please. OK, and speak from your heart and it will not be taken the wrong way if you speak from your heart. OK. All right. The next card, I mean, that's what you don't see coming. This is the energy right now is focused here. So your laser focused on something. Some of you guys could be starting something new. So this could be with the Aries Leo Sag, or you could have that in your chart. Okay, whatever this is, I feel like it fires you up as well. It gives you a lot of energy. Like, whatever this new thing that you're doing, like, it, it's, it's giving you a type of energy that you, like, a kind of adren adrenaline that you never really thought you lacked or needed. Why did I shuffle like that? Interesting. You have um, communicate clearly, and there's something better. 
Now, you know what I just got? There's something better. It's like, it gets better. Like, that's what I'm getting with that. That's what I'm getting. I'm, I'm, I'm going off by my intuition. You have communicate clearly. Whatever this new passionate thing is here, they want you to speak clearly. I feel like a lot of you guys could be speakers in some way or um, like whatever it is that you're doing is going to involve you speaking a lot, okay? Or using your voice in some ways. Maybe it could be singers, rappers. I don't know what you're doing. Um, they want you to, to communicate clearly, slowly, not slowly, but. I also feel like the divine, your universe, your universe, the universe, um, yeah, it is your universe. It is. Um, your guides, your angels are going to be speaking through you, like, as well. Like, it's like you're not alone. Okay? What is focused? There's something better and communicate clearly. I feel like whatever this new thing is, it, like, kind of, like, spurst up your spirits. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so... <laughs> everything that we do, literally everything, anything that happens in our lives, right? Any um event, whatever, is there is... It's happening for a reason. I think it's a coincidence. I'm pretty sure you know that, Pisces. Like, you know that, right? Everything is a lesson as well. Everything. Whenever we start something new, whenever we... Um, whenever we initiate a new beginning in whatever way it is, there's always um, something that you're going to have to compromise give up, whatever, in order for you to enter this new phase, right? It's like, who did I just say this to? Libra. You can be dealing with the Libra? Or is this about a Libra? I don't know. But um, it's like if you're going to a club, right? You can't go to the club in pajamas. You have to go to the club dressed in the attire. So you better go home, get cute, buy what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself done and then go. Same situation here. You can't go into this new beginning with... You got to come correct. And the dress code is you realizing you being honest with yourself and realizing that there's a there's a commitment here that no longer is working out for you. Now, this could be a love situation. That's kind of what I felt strongly the most. So I feel like a lot of you are dealing with a situation where you felt like you were met for this person and it was the greatest thing since life spread. And now you're seeing there's no passion there. Right. And. You weren't going to be able to see this until you stepped into the new energy because now you're at the club, you're about to go in and they're like, whoa, whoa, you can't come with that. You can't come with that. And you're like, what you mean? I can't come with that. So now, so now you're sitting there debating like, are you even worth it anymore? Like now you're, cause you're like, you really want to get into this club. You've been waiting 1500 years for this club. Like you got, you, this is what your soul wants to do, you know? And you're just like, mm. I mean, like you could go home. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I hope you guys are getting the point, okay? Um, the other nine of cups and the seven of pentacles, like the club is where your wishes are at. The club is where your growth, your foundation, like you know that, you know that. So it's gonna make you reevaluate the people that you have around you and or this this could be, like I said, it could be a, a, a person or something that you truly, like I feel like truly built you up to be where you're at. And I feel like once it, once you got to where you're supposed to be, it started like losing flavor or it started losing um, its attraction that you had for it because it came, it did what it came to do. And now it's time for it to go. Um, and, I, and I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be the, the separation from this is going to be a little or this realization is going to be a little harsh um, because whatever this is, you grew with it. You know what I'm saying? Like you grew to love it for a lot of you. Um, I feel like it depended way too much on you. It took too much of your, and this could be a job situation as well. It took too much of your time, too much of your energy here. And I feel like you weren't listening to your intu in your intuition. I feel like you were going towards something that you were hitting roadblocks all the time. You know what I'm saying? And you, but you were still going, you were still going, you were still going. Maybe because it was a necessity at, at, at some point here. 
and I feel like it it just it just understood you the job the person like you know like it was like I'm safe here you know like I get it it gets me whoop de doo you know what I'm saying but at the end of the day I feel like you started realizing these opportunities these clubs that you're just not able to get get into because you're carrying this dead weight behind you you know what I'm saying that is not even doing good for you anyway because you're always you're still filling out left in the cold like they're coming with you to the club but it's like you get to the club and it's like you're basically alone so it's like bro you don't even have to come in like you know what i'm saying but you're gonna have to leave it like that's the main point here all right next is the fleeting where you go away you want to run away you want to run away i don't know if you should or not but let's see Ask your angels. <laughs> yeah, spirit, thanks. You've been asking your angels. Like, should I? Should I leave? Should I not? What should I do here? I'm gonna put one more. A year from now. I don't I don't really do timing cards, okay? Um, but it could be a, a year from now. Who 11 11 when I said that. It could be a year from now that this happens or that you're gonna um be able to let it go here. Um for some of you it could be from now to a year. Okay, um, what is the fleeting ask your angels in a year from now? Some of you guys could be thinking about moving, and if that's the case, next year you definitely be moving. Bottom of the deck is the two of cups. You got work to do, I don't know why I'm hearing that. Um, the four of cups, the devil, the ace of cups in reverse, and the eight of wands in reverse. For some of you, this might happen tomorrow. <laughs> Legit. You might be able to leave. Like, the timing, that's why I don't, that's why I don't like timing cards, because everybody's on a different level. Everybody's energetically in a different space. But um, you have the Four of Cups and the Devil here. So what you, what you don't see is that there is a negative thing, person, place, or thing in your space that is causing delays. Eight of Wands in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse. Like, hard delays. Um, blocking you from leaving something, moving, whatever. You have the Two of Cups, the Page of Cups in reverse, and the Four of Swords in reverse. And I feel like this Two of Cups is here again. I feel like it's because this person gets you. You understand each other. And bah, 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 bah. But... That, that's the same energy that is stopping your blessing. That is stopping from you doing running away from whatever this, this is that you want. Like, I don't want to say run away, but you want to run away. You could be trying to leave something, like trying to move and trying to... And you got this Capricorn here. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. But you got somebody here, their negative energy, whether they're like purposely stopping you or not, is causing delays. And this energy isn't open to anything with you right now seeing things your way like they're not even trying to help you like it might have, like i just i don't feel like they're on your emotional level like it's the ace of cups universe there's no love here anyway like they're not so it's like you're allowing an energy to stop you that doesn't that doesn't really care about you or the relationship that you have with them okay so just remember that but i feel like the answer is pretty clear now so depending on how long it takes for you guys to remove yourself from this devil energy, whatever this devil energy is for you, it could be a thought, right? It could be a Taurus with the Hierophant in reverse. It could be work, a relationship, a friend, family. There's someone here. And I feel like you know what it, who it is, Pisces. You know what I'm saying? Like you're intuitive. You know what's up. All right. The next card is groove here. So you need to get up. What what are you waiting for? You're 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 too comfy. You're too comfy here on this couch. <laughs> oh, you're scared. You're scared. I never knew that there was like these little lizard things underneath this couch thing. So the cat, there's another one here. So it's like the cat is like scared to come down from the thing because there's these snakes around or these lizard things. That's 
interesting. What is this groove? Remain positive and be assertive. Oh, you go. You're gonna have to. You go. You're gonna have to get down from the couch. You're gonna have to get down. There. There is no. Let me wait till the lizards go to sleep. You're gonna have to get down from the couch. And getting and just being positive, like literally jump off the couch and be like, I'm gonna land safe. I'm gonna land safe and just do it. I feel like the universe is gonna be there to catch you. As long as you're not like trying to kill the lizards while you're flying. Like, don't worry about the lizards. Just worry about you getting off the couch. What is this groove? Be assertive and remain positive. If I, you feel like it might start a war. You feel like it might start a war for some of you. Oh my gosh. What is this? <sighs> I mean, I mean... Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so you have the Four of Wands in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, the Moon in reverse, and the Hierophant. This could be with the Cancer. It doesn't have to be here. Now, when I upload this video, which... Yes, when I upload this video, the Lunar Eclipse will be happening this week. The week that I'm uploading it. Um, and I feel like the universe is um, lighting everybody's life on fire this week at the lunar eclipse is on saturday i think but yes every single person on this planet is getting their life lit in the fuck up in a certain area of their life it's getting turned up it's getting turned up so don't feel like you're alone okay pisces that's what i want to say to you because everybody literally is going through something because the the lunar eclipse is what i feel like it's doing is illuminating things bringing things out to the surface the clarity is going to be drastic. Like, you, there's no way that you're not going to know which way to go by the end of this week. Okay? Okay. That's the first thing I want to say. Now, there could be some type of commitment here. Some type of job that you've been connected to for a very long time. I'm getting commitment or job. It's either one of those two. But take it how it resonates. And it's like, I feel like it has you, it has not helped you out. And I feel like... It's made you feel alone. It's made you feel abandoned. It's made you feel like you don't, like nobody. Some of you guys have already experienced this already. It's like, it's like nobody cares. And I feel like that you knew this, but with this moon here, I feel like you now see that this is not going to change. The fives are all about change, but the moon is also a major arcana. So I feel like it's like a major realization that this energy is always going to stay this five of swords. I mean, could be five of swords, which is stress, anxiety. Um, but it's always going to be in this lack energy, this pushing everybody away, always wanting, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's like, it's not changing is what I'm getting. And I feel like the universe wants you to learn a lesson here. This is, this is a lesson that you're going to learn, which is why you're the one that has to get off the couch. You're the one that has to be like, I'm out of here. I'm not doing this no more. I can't do this no more. You know, you're feeling the five of pentacles. You can't sleep. You can't eat. You're stressing. It's affecting your life because you're sitting here on this couch. You've got no friends. You don't talk to nobody. Nobody comes to talk to you. You're secluded. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what I'm getting, okay? All right, so let's get some advice for you with the kippers. What's there's something better? Communicate clearly and focus. You have gift. <laughs> Telling you, bro. Telling you. Um, you keep doing what you're doing. Like you're going to get it. Like you're going, whatever this new thing is, this this club that you're trying to get into, that's the universe presenting you exactly the right club for you to go into, to meet the right people, to experience the right things, right? I'm obviously, I'm, I know it's not a club. I hope you guys get that that's how I speak. <laughs> but um, yeah, go in the club. There's, there's a gift waiting for you and leave whoever the freak cannot come in because they haven't done the work. You understand? Okay, because they didn't get ready. Because they decided to come to the club looking like they just woke up with pajamas. Meanwhile, you did the work. You worked for, you know, you got yourself together. You bought the, the outfit. You did what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? So you get to go in. All right? What is Ask Your Angels a year from now and the fleeting? You have high honor here. Mm. 
Now, I feel like whatever this devil energy is that is um, keeping you in this thing, keeping you from doing something energetically is really what I'm getting. It could be physically as well, but they see you as something amazing. They see you at a very high regard, okay? Um, which is why they don't want you to leave, which is why they're trying to stop this from happening. Doesn't make it okay, right? But some of you guys could be thinking, oh, they, they probably hate me and that's why they're doing it to get me out of here. No, they actually see you as being somebody with a very high purpose, with very high values, with like, they hold you in a very high regard, Pisces, okay? You have message. I feel like that's the truth. <laughs> but I feel like um, they're going to come, like, you're going to get a message in some way. And, like, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to get a message to help you remove yourself from this. Because the devil energy is tough, but the universe always sends us little helpers or little things here and there to, like, help us grab onto the rope. But we the universe will bring something to us but we have to grab it and the same thing like the club in order for you to grab it you gotta let go of any backpack any food that you had and trust that you letting all that sh go to pull on this rope is gonna save you i don't know why i'm saying save you that's crazy but it could be save you but more like remove yourself from this energy like you gotta trust the universe hard right now pisces what is be assertive remain positive and groove despair in reverse so i feel like if you get out of the couch and say i don't care about these lizards that are circling my couch i've been sitting here for too long i'm feeling left out and alone and in the cold and i don't deserve this and you jump everything gets better instantly instantly bottom of the deck is pathway and then your journey begins this is beautiful. I love this for you. All right, Pisces, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.